hello everyone welcome to our channel code with Vinit Manas so friends in the previous video I, we just downloaded the freshly new laravel project uh, in this video we'll set up the admin panel so first we'll go to the uh, this is the admin panel folder so I will put this folder in the description box you just get this uh, in the archive form and just unzip the folder so just go to the rocker and here we have uh, three options like horizontal rtl means right to left and vertical we just go to the vertical section and firstly this uh, ss folder just copy this folder and uh, go to the uh, like basic folder structure uh, directory where we have the laravel project go to the public and paste it here so yes so after that uh, we just go to the uh, index.html file mm. where it is index okay just uh, do one thing just copy any for uh, just open any file in that chrome or any in the browser just go to the default so you can see this is index.html so we just find that index.html abct so here it is index.html uh, drag this file to the vs code now open this mm, close and uh, okay so here we have this index.html and uh, in our sources views will create that uh, folder for the admin panel as well so here uh, let's create it a new folder admin after that uh, we have some like layout a layout index and other things so we'll create a layout dot blade dot php it's a basic layout file mm the code should be copy from the top and to the body header so uh, it will include all the header so it's the header and page copy it paste it over here and after that write at the rate yield name of the yield con e anti content so we'll just also uh, like divide this code into some components so how to create the component just uh, go to our website uh, developer code set and write it here components so here you will see how to create components in laravel 10 so in this e-commerce we we'll just uh, create the backend in the basic laravel project and we'll create the front end using vue.js so this is our basic concept so this is how to create uh, what are components how to set up components we just uh, copy this previous addition make component and uh, open the terminal again uh, new terminal paste the code footer I think uh, we don't need the proper footer we just need the admin footer so I will write it manually php artisan make component admin footer admin footer uh, make I think component spelling component hit enter so it automatically contain and now we also have to contain admin header hit enter and the last thing is admin sidebar okay so it uh, creates all the things hide it down move the code header to the header section uh, like this header to this cut this code 
and admin header paste the code to this after that uh, to use component like we have to use the component like this just copy this thing and uh, paste it there now admin and footer footer okay so be sure that uh, like the name should be same as of your component admin footer so the next thing is we have to move the code to the sidebar as well so i think it is uh, i think this all uh, code goes to the sidebar so i will move all the things to the sidebar just go to the sidebar and paste it here save it now the footer section here so this is the internal thing we just move down to the, for finding the footer of this page mm, wrapper theme customizer site bar so i think uh, we should include these things till this so it's our footer section go to the footer paste it here and just uh, body wait 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 there is another actually we cut the things okay mm. it's our html file not layout dot uh, not layout dot blade dot php file so paste it here just format it admin footer uh, now copy this and paste it over here now uh, we have admin footer sorry 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 uh, in the header section we have to place the header part and in the footer section we have to place the footer part mm, copy this page set over here so here we have uh, admin side bar with this paste it here save it so this is our layout uh, page now uh, what we have to do now uh, go to the header and you can see this is the assets but in the laravel we have to give the proper path from the public folder so the shortcut is to do like copy this paste it over here and we have to do like this asset curly bracket start asset round bracket single quote after that copy the assets and this boom so uh, it will actually remove all sorry concatenate all the asset with this now what we'll do like some png files are here we just do it like this it will uh, add all the curly brackets and round brackets to the path now time for css css good now if any png okay jpg no so fine save it and go to the sidebar dot jpg no dot png so we have files of png now replace it with the proper uh, code and also we have to replace the assets slash mm. now 
not like this asset round bracket single quote then assets it's the better way so after that uh, any dot jpg not found png we already do for the png so moving to the the save it there and moving to the footer part so again we have to find the assets sorry sorry uh, assets slash replace now dot js so it is better to like uh, find and replace rather than you just co copy the all the files to go through a single line so i think it's a better way to do so so i just save the code and the one thing is create a index dot blade dot php and here we just write the extends what is the path over folder it is admin slash uh, layout after that at the rate section and what is the name of a section it is the name content after that at the rate and section save it and uh, one most last thing then go to the html we have to paste the middle code where we see all the graphs and all the things mm. i think this part okay there so it's a total orders uh, we'll copy this find so it's a page wrapper started from mm. okay i think copy it and go to the index.blade place it center and after that go to the routes web.php so here we have admin slash index save it and check it refresh the code okay syntax error unexpected identifier mm. So here, uh, okay, one one JS in the header section. I think that's the issue. Okay, one JS. Uh, we just don't find uh, any JS CSS CSS CSS. So here it is page dot main dot JS. Okay. okay fine so absolutely we are on the code and we just set up the admin panel successfully i will just put the link of the admin panel in the description box just stack it check it out and unzip the file and do the code we'll move to the next video so if you like uh, the video please do subscribe the channel thank you